So let's get right off into it, guys. Back with more Assassin's Creed. Yeah, I'm just chilling at the blacksmith. <laughs> See what kind of interesting new stuff he got for me. I was a little bit of a for this. Oh, well. These cat mummies are false! Talk about it. Tell me of the fake mummies being sold here. I have no desire to be dragged into this. Menahed sends me. Your silence is an insult to his holy office. Uh, I wish to anger neither him nor the gods. We are forced to sell items of lesser quality. Or see our stalls destroyed. Who is behind this? I can say no more now. Let us meet tonight, where the village turns to farmland. Ooh, okay, a secret meeting. We doing good. That strangers want to meet me in secret. Sounds good, right? It, it, I don't know why I, I did that. Shame. But strangers want to meet me. Oh. I feel like some kind of superstar. Ooh, cool. The hip hop, the hip hop paradigmus bow. Hey, are you talking about a bow and arrow that could take down a hippopotamus? I'm actually, I'm actually for it. Sounds pretty powerful, actually. Go ahead, upgrade some stuff while I'm at it. Uh oh. Keep on upgrading. Can't do it no more. But yeah. Now, how I feel about this using the skill points and stuff. Like, I'm not too fan of going to steer away because I barely use equipment. Like. First choice will always be to use my weapons. And then, if I want to be like fancy or have some kind of aesthetic effect, you know, just have a fun, I will use the bow and arrow, but I can't really see myself using tools too much. Ah, you know what? Huh, think about it. Actually, not this time, but next time, I think it might be good to invest in tools like sleeping stuff I can hit people with from a distance and yeah, I feel like that might actually be better. Huh. Well, I know for a fact I had to get the second, the second weapon because I'm getting tired of like fast enemies, like them just doing a number on me because my weapon is too slow, but it's powerful though, so if I connect, I'm connecting, but other than that, I, I, it's just slow. Man, I wish I could kill that ox. And like when I loot the ox, it's gonna be like, you found ox tails. Have y'all ever had ox tails? Mm. The ox tail, good, a good boy, good boy. Mm -mm -mm. Love some ox tails. Nejai, great warrior, come. I sell you what you want. 
You need it, I have it. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Redda has your back in these desolate lands. You are but a boy. How did you come by such fine treasure? Plucked from the ancient lands of the desert, the sunken vessels of the Nile, refined by handmaidens of the gods. Weapon reforged in Nubian mines, Persian jewels, and Assyrian treasures. I have it all. I see. You are well traveled for such a young man. Old wisdom, Neb. I have acquired from long nights in the desert with my camel. I will see what you have. Come, look around. If you want good Neb, I have other jobs too. Hmm. When everything opened back up, I'm giving me some oxtails. Straight from the Jamaicans. But, one thing I like about Lil Dude right here, I, I, I love his expression. I have what you need. If I don't have it, then you don't need it. <laughs> like, I don't know. He kind of just grows on you. He's not like over cocky with it, but he know how I pitch a sale. Like, I just want to buy stuff from him because... I'm not going to yet. I want to save up my cash a little bit. This looks like a child made it. Clear the way. Clear the way. Bombs just setting everything on fire. Hold the enemy. I must push on. I should not have come here. Look at that. See, it's just fun to me. Then the big hammer with big damage. Like, you cannot compete against the hammer. Assassin's Creed game, you don't come close to death, right? But it's just, I have a thing of being a little too close to it. Oh, yeah, innocent, huh? I don't believe that. Half the time, the people are yelling about them being innocent. You know. Man will try proof his innocence. This looks like saying. a child made it. So insulting. How can I help you? Hmm. Nah, not today, not this time. Huh? I don't think, nah, I ain't gonna buy no mountain. Why we sell more? Here you go, Fagin. Fair winds and safe roads. Oh, okay. Cool. My friend, I am glad to see you have kept our appointment. Come, sit Charlie with me did. and share a drink of wine. I do not have time for that. <sighs> it is a beautiful night. Let us enjoy the coolness of the air for a moment before turning to business. Merchant, I am not here to take in the air. Who is behind what I'm the saying. traffic of false icons? Well, you see, it is no simple story. There are many involved in this terrible affair, but they would all tell you the same thing. Pity the trusting man, for he suffers great pain. 
Seek evil, and you will always see how they set me up. No one will find your body once we bring you to the crocodiles. I don't know if I can. Like, if I had superpowers, I don't know if I can do the whole hero thing. But sometimes people just. people just bad for you. Like, just toxic. Like, prime example, if I had, like, super speed. Of course. But, I feel like I will rob bank with that super speed. I mean, I wouldn't hurt nobody or anything. But, at the same time, just being a good guy 24-7. Uh, that's not for me, because I know I'm going to use my powers for childish things at some point. A man who fights as well as you can perhaps afford to be trusting. Talk, or you will meet the same fate as your friends. That will not be necessary. Among the dunes, southeast of here, is the bandit camp where the fake mummies are made. I suppose you will go and destroy it now. Better I smash the camp than your head. I... Destroying these forgeries will earn the favor of the gods. As Ra lives, hey, this is just me being honest. I know I would, but it is what it is. I mean, I wouldn't go out my way cause like a war, global destruction with my powers. But at the same time, I wouldn't let anybody destroy the world either. And I, I feel like I wouldn't. Nah, I wouldn't use my powers for military use. Because the thing about that is. It's because a law says something is right. Morally talking doesn't mean that it's actually right. Like, say like the law said it was okay to kill people. That don't mean it's actually okay to kill people. Like, from a moral perspective. And like, if you, and I feel like the government would just try to control me. So nah. I'll just be, nah, I couldn't do it. I'll use my powers for the things I want to do with it. Sounds selfish, but hey, it is what it is, for the most part. <laughs> Sometimes being honest with yourself is the hardest thing to do. But I don't think a lot of people would admit if they had superpowers, they would do something they would rob bank with it. They might say no, but still do it. Or they might say no, I actually mean it. But I will admit, I will do it. Do that. Stop. This place is heavily guarded. <laughs> be done. So fast, the cameras can't even pick me up. I'm good. Okay, just doing a little pre, pre scanning. See what kind of bogeys we are up against. Man. To the ground on the stealthiness. No. One game I feel like would have been fun for me that I simply missed out on was Splinter Cell. I mean, I ain't played it, but I have watched it. And I have to say, it's a really fun looking game. How would y'all feel about me going back to do Splinter Cell to play it? You know it's been out for a long time. Hmm. I don't know. Ah, elbow to the pressure point. If that can really knock somebody out. Oh, so much pain, they just instantly drop. Because this is like an elbow to the pressure point that we're talking about. Of course, this stuff on your throat is going to finish somebody off. See, if I was in this game, I would mess it up so bad. I would go to step on their throat, end up stepping on their chin. Taking a, like five step, five steps to get it right. Man, how do I keep on missing? Hmm. I guess I just don't have the luck of the Irish with me. <laughs> ah. Big 
Oh, the loop. So I can take. And then here's the fun part. Fire everywhere. Oh, I didn't know the horses was afraid of fire in this game. Burn everything up in here. Up in here? Up in here. Except for that one. That one is just kind of... Uh, no. Hmm. Him got raided and set it on fire. Then the head will rest easy. Now that this is done. That bird? Oh, no. Hmm. I just saved your life. Very cool. Whoa. Oh, another bogey. Hmm. He got clothesline. And then head slammed against the hard. Reinforced, fortified, sand. <laughs> Dude, that sounds very tough, man. What happened to you? I got a clothesline and my head Whoa. banged against some sand. It's not like in sand bags where everything's compact and dense. It's just sand itself. Loose, gritty, grainy sand. Kinda sad, really. I get some story quests, well, some quests done, whether it be my main or side. I'm telling you, the boat shouldn't be this fast, but I love it. Now, a horse was this fast in this in in the game. I wouldn't even mind it. But downfall is. Like oh, and that's kind of the only problem. I feel like all these mounds just move too slow for my liking. Maybe it's just me. Right position, get it. Okay, cool. Ah, here you I are. I do like the architecture of this place, even though it's a game. How can I use the burdens of an old friend? Tonight, we will stage a grand spectacle. Our goddess Sekhmet defends the people against Isfet's chaos. But Pamu, our champion, is nowhere to be found. The high priest will judge me responsible for his absence. I'll have a look. Sekhmet bless you. His home is near the market, but check the tavern first. It pains me to ask you for a further favor. Pamu does like a drink now and again. Now, if he says check the tavern and that this guy likes to drink every now and again, he's probably drunk somewhere. I just big hints everywhere. <laughs> oh, 
don't know, like, I just found that to be real funny. Da ah, da ah. That girl must be young if I can still hear her from here. Oh yeah, one thing I noticed is, I... I heard there are bandits harassing people, likely with a reward already on their heads. I know, as I'm the one who put the reward out for them. Bandits are not good for business. I like how you do that. They have a, they have a bounty on their heads. I know, because I'm the one that did it. <laughs> But one thing about this game is like just like the switching the weapons, I wish it was a lot smoother. Like is it press or is it holding? Like sometimes I feel like I hold it but it doesn't switch or I press it and it doesn't switch so I end up doing both until it does, but I end up going past it. Yeah, it, it's just to me it's just too messy. Not really too many items, but I'm not heartbroken over it. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, I gotta come back to this camp again? Well, what? Get the quiet approach. Everything going up in flames. Oh, the enemy. Damn it, we must catch up. Yeah, yeah and then this is how real raids supposed to look like. Hey, <laughs> I've got a problem here. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I don't. Well, it has to I should return to you. Sometimes I accidentally run up stuff. It's okay, don't be alarmed. I just casually get stuck on the straw fence. Yeah. Yeah, I just skipped through it because it was a lot of trap. So, now we gotta kill snakes apparently. You know what? The snakes will be a lot more terrifying if they move. Thanks, see. Like, because you know, snakes, they, they hit you with that quickness. It's over. I feel like if they buffed the snakes a little bit, it would have been a lot better. I know they got some kind of poison. Like cobras. Oh, nope, those can't be broken. And that's just a little story about how these was coming out here. They got caught in the sandstorm and the snakes got to jump on them. Well, explain all the dead bodies, my man. The dead bodies. Yeah. Get him. Oh, 
Oh. I'm getting your head banged against this concrete. I can't understand that knocking you out. Man. Cool. Oh. If something like that happened hey. to you, you just got lied about what happened. Getting tired? There you are. Because getting your head banged against loose sand. Okay, okay, okay. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I'm just downplaying it, underestimating it. It's People do get hurt like getting slammed on sand at the beach. This is I don't know. That's not one of the feelings that like you just go through life. Huh. I wonder can I pass out of my head hit sand real hard. Like loose outside beach desert kind of sand. Not like sandbag sand. And that's another thing. They need to be more consistent with the torches because it seemed like it has to be like really dark for the torch to light. That's another thing I'll, I'll hope they fix. But like I said, overall the game still feels great to me. And I, I honestly enjoy it. So this boat could take down hippopotamus, but it can't take down some And we all clear. Sometimes that's just what we gotta do. The air can just catch flames and disappear. <laughs> I do wonder what snake tastes like. Freshly cooked snake. So good, the snake was cooked alive. Hmm. Especially with that charred grill taste to it. I can't imagine it being a little tough. Hey. I had ribs that could break teeth before, so I don't think that'd be that big of a concern. And this is where I'm going in the stream at, guys. So take care, enjoy, and make sure you leave likes.